Hey guys, welcome to my channel BitGlen. My name's Glenn and I'm trying to share with you what I learn in the world of cryptocurrency as I go along. And today I'm going to be comparing the big Z9 versus the Z9 minis that I have in the shed with me right now. Thanks for finding this channel. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like this content. And also if you're new to the channel, click subscribe and come on this journey with me and see what we can learn together. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so here is the Z9. Obviously this is the big version. What I've done here is I've got the Z9 with the power supply unit that obviously Bitmain recommends you use. Um, and I've put it side by side of a Z9 Mini so we can get an idea of size difference. So if we was to look at them um, side by side, so you can see there that pretty much it's two Z9s stacked up on top of each other. If I put my other Z9 on top of that, it would probably come just over that. But that's because it has two of these control units that only has one. But uh, essentially it's two Z9 stacked up on top of each other. We can see over the top, slight difference in uh, length. So Z9 Mini is just ever so slightly shorter. I don't know if you can see that from that angle. Something else to point out is that this only needs three PSI connectors, one for each board, the Z9 Mini, and then one for the control board. So actually you need four, all in total. Whereas the big Z9 requires two PSI connectors uh, for each board. So it has three big boards in here. Uh, so that's six connectors plus the uh, control unit as well. Um, so actually this requires seven. Now this is the power supply that it comes with. So this is the more powerful supply. Um, has quite a lot of connectors as you can see there. Um, but something that <laughs> is a bit annoying, uh, you, I don't think you can actually stand I don't think you can just put this side by side and plug them in at the top. You see that it doesn't really give you enough slack to get all the way over. By the time you plug them all in and plus the one up here, really you need this elevated somehow. You need it up or over the top of it. Um, so you might want to think about that before they arrive. Uh, obviously I've got a shelving unit so I've put the power supply unit above the machine so it hasn't caused me an issue but just bear that in mind. Now, the Z9 Mini, obviously this is a batch two version, so unfortunately is one of the ones that um, couldn't be as overclocked like the, uh, this Z9 Mini is a batch two. Um, so unfortunately it can't be overclocked as well as the batch ones. The batch ones you could overclock to 16 to, some people get 18,000 um, souls. This one can achieve about 14 and a half, I'd say, with my sort of two to three weeks uh, using of it. That's an average. You can probably get about 15, uh, but then what I find is, is that give it a day or two and the, one of the boards will fail, and then you have to either reset it um, or change the frequency. So over time, I've slowly reduced the frequency down, and uh, I've found one now which will run like it's run for about four days straight without a failure. Now, coming on to the big Z9, I've been running this now for just over 24 hours. It says on the top here that it's a 42K. Um, so, I remember when we first looked at buying one of these, it quoted 40,000 souls. Uh, this is saying it does 42,000. But actually, uh, if you go into the settings and change, which I'll go back to the computer and show you in a second, um, if you change the settings to turbo mode, don't think you can beat me just by powering up. Um, <laughs> then you can actually get about 47,000 souls out of this. So uh, that's actually quite good. I mean, you can't knock Bitmain really because they're offering you products which outperform what they quoted you at the beginning. A lot of people are upset because the Batch 1 Z Minis, and this is where they've shot themselves in the foot, the Batch 1 Z Minis were able to achieve 16 to 18,000 souls. They've restricted that now, and that's really pissed people off, which I completely understand. But on the flip side, you're still getting a product which does more than what you are quoted when you bought it. So 
it's a bit, I think people are getting a bit upset about Bitmain maybe restricting, uh, but I believe it's because they have actually changed something internally in this machine, which means it doesn't cope as well as the, the original batch ones, which cost obviously like two and a half thousand uh, dollars. These ones obviously cost about $800 now. Um, they've changed something inside this, I believe to make it cheaper because it doesn't handle um, the power uh, optimization as good as the batch one from what my team in Team Bicklen uh, have informed me. Um, don't know how true that is, but that's just something to bear in mind. Now, I believe they've probably done the same with that to cut costs as this one, but obviously this one is still selling for $3,000. I believe this is going to come down. I bet you can buy one of these for about... 1,500 to two grand probably within the next coming months, especially as Equihash gets more and more difficult. But yeah, it does exactly what it says on the tin, so you can't knock them for that. Let's actually plug these in now, and obviously I can show you guys the sound. Also, how much watts it's drawing from the wall. I've got my um, watt reader here. Now, something I will say before um, we get into that is that with these Z9 minis, they run at an optimal temperature, like the best temperatures for them to operate are under 70 degrees for the chip temperature, which I'll show you on the computer. Um, so if you've got anywhere between sort of 58 to 70 uh, degrees, these will run perfectly fine. You'll probably have less failures. This one, on the other hand, instantly goes into about 80, and I've seen it go up to about 85 degrees chip temperature. So these, get a lot hotter than these just off the bat before you've even taken into account obviously your surroundings um, and obviously the weather outside but yeah these are a lot hotter now what i've actually found is that these can handle the heat they they can uh, go my experience in the last 24 hours um these can run at a hotter temperature and the boards necessarily won't fail i haven't seen a failure on this yet but then i've only had it for one day but what this has done is this has made my room hotter, a lot hotter, which means that these are starting to fail. So even though I'm gaining extra hash power here, I'm losing performance on my Z9 Minis. So if you have Z9 Minis and you're in an area which hasn't got the best air and heat management, uh, you may want to bear that in mind with these big Z9s because you may end up losing money on your Z9 Minis. Uh, if they're very close to the uh, the big Z9. So something else you want to bear in mind is that obviously this draws a lot more power than the Z9 Mini. So I actually went to an electrical shop and asked them obviously about a kettle lead uh, that can handle sort of 12, 1250 watts continuously. Um, and they recommended that I buy this cable. It was only about three pound, I think. Might not have even been that much, but again, that's something you need to bear in mind. Don't try and risk it like I have here with the little Z9 minis. And I found some dirty old cable that I had lying around. This is a brand new one, but then they take up a quarter of the power of this. So I thought I didn't want to risk it. So I bought a brand new cable. But again, this is just saying that, um, you can make a decision on. You can buy these cheap enough off Amazon, but I wanted it the day that the machine arrived, so uh, I went to an electrical shop to buy one. Okay, so what I've actually decided to do is I've actually tried to uh, separate the Z9 uh, with the Z9 Mini. So I've tried to lower these actually. Uh, obviously heat rises. Um, so I thought if I put them at the bottom, obviously they'll get the colder air the most, obviously whereas the Z9 does seem to be uh, more capable of handling hot air, so it doesn't matter too much about it being a little bit higher up, but it's neither here or there because obviously once your shed fills up with hot air, uh, the whole the whole uh, shed actually gets hot. But this is the temperature of the shed right now, and for you that wanna know in Fahrenheit, there you go, 59 degrees Fahrenheit. 50 degrees Celsius. It's quite a chilly day today. Now what I've found is that when I have my doors open, um, the cool air comes in and the fan speed, almost within a minute or so, they all drop. So they do prefer the door being open. Once you shut the door, you hear the fan speed picking up and up and up to obviously when it gets to its hottest. Um, so I do need to get this air circulation in here sorted ASAP. So that is something I'm gonna be looking to do tomorrow and 
Tuesday, uh, I get some money, so then obviously I can spend a little bit of money um, trying to get some sort of airflow in here without making just holes in the walls. So let's turn these on. So we're gonna hear them now actually at their full capacity. I'm just gonna shut the door. Right, so when you turn these on for the first time, they do ramp up. You really hear them at 100% speed, and that's gonna be the same for the Z9 Minis and the big Z9. Here we go. It does get louder than that. Now you can see here actually, to solve the issue of the power supply unit not being able to reach, I've put this little plastic tub here and put that on top, um, but you can, you can tell there's tension. Look, I can barely move it away from there. Um, so if that wasn't there, it wouldn't be able to reach. So that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> My OCD coming out. So this is them at 100% speed. This is the loudest they'll be. And that one's died down, so have the minis. So actually this is the noise that I'm used to. So they're not actually that loud. I would say the Z9 Big Daddy, I'm gonna call it, is just as loud as having one or two Z9 minis. You really can't tell a difference. I don't know if you can hear on video. versus the two Z9 minis. They're about the same, I would say, but I'll let you be the judge of that. So that's really it for noise. Uh, hopefully this setup here will be a bit better with the air separating. I had, um, I had the Z9 mini right next to the big Z9, um, and obviously the heat coming off of that one was disrupting them too. So hopefully now they're a bit more separated, that won't happen as much. Um, you can see already the temperature behind this thing is going up and if I put my hand at the back here it really is hot air coming out. Imagine a um, little heater that you would put on the floor, the little ones that face upwards. It feels like that sort of heat coming out of them. Whereas the Z9 Minis, uh, if I put my hand at the back of them, it feels almost like cool air. You know when a fan is on during a warm day and you can feel it just move in warm air around. It sort of feels like that, but this is definitely hot air coming out of the back of this. So these do operate at hotter temperatures. So you might want to bear that in mind if you're going to put one of these in your home. If you want to put one of these in your home or somewhere, uh, you have to bear in mind the temperatures, not so much the noise, but just bearing in mind your other ASICs with this may disrupt. But then people that have had an S9 and stuff like that are probably well used to this and obviously I'm new to this so uh, they're probably laughing at me now but uh, you can see the temperatures are going up. Watts from the wall, so that's, I'm going to show you how much power they're drawing from the wall but that is for two Z9 minis, a big Z9, my Wi-Fi router, the network switch, that light thing and normally I have a fan plugged in here. So let's have a little look at the... So about 1850, I would say. And that's for everything all running at the same time through the same plug. So it's about what I expected, actually. So let's go over to the computer now and talk about profitability. Okay, so this is the Antminer Z9 homepage through Antminer software. And you can see here that it's hashing away now. Um, it's, the fans have settled down. You can see the core temperature, the uh, chip temperatures here, are 72, 70, and 68. Now, if that was the case on the Z9 uh, minis, they would start to fail on that. But this is what the Z9 runs at off the box. It's quite a chilly day, as you saw in that video. I've had the doors open all morning, so it's quite cold in here, actually. I've, I might need to get my jumper back on, but that's the temperatures that it's sound inside. Now, if we compare that to the Z9 Minis, you can see here, uh, 59, 60s. So this thing runs at 10 to 12 degrees more instantly, uh, without it even having to work really hard, straight out of the box. So 
that's something to bear in mind. So you can see here that in turbo mode, I'll just show you that, if I go to my advanced settings, you have balanced and you have turbo. The difference between these two, balance will give you about 42,000 souls, turbo will give you about 47, 48, some people are saying, um, but you can see they're up to 50,000 souls, which is awesome. So that's about a 20 to 25% increase from what they advertise out of the box. So you know, can't complain too much there, I suppose. I do have a feeling that these could run even more uh, souls, uh, but I'm just concerned about obviously the temperatures. Um, this thing does get hot. So I don't know whether it can actually through firmware later down the line or maybe uh, making some sort of adjustments, but I'm not too technically advanced to do that sort of stuff for you, unfortunately. Um, so there you have it. That's the Z9, the big daddy version. There are the temperatures. That's the uh, soles that I'm getting. It came out of the box pretty pristine. You've got the packaging here. Yeah, it's, it's just the same as the Z9 minis were. There was a little dent in it though, like a little dent in the metal framing, in the metal casing. So I don't know if these have been used. I don't know if uh, maybe they're just not careful with them. I don't know. I honestly don't know, but there you have it. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Please let me know what you think about the Z9. Uh, there are reports that you could actually achieve better results by changing the fans on them and uh, stuff like that. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you want to join my telegram group chat the link to it again is down below and don't forget to give this video a like before you leave this video. So thank you for all the support and I'll see you on the next video from Bitcoin. Bye guys.